Hi, I'm Dr. Deva Kalsa. Welcome to Cancer Treatment and Prevention in Dogs and Cats. I'd like you to know that I've been a holistic veterinarian for over 30 years, I'm a best-selling author, and I lecture internationally. And it's important to me that your dogs and cats avoid this dreaded disease. So the first thing that we're going to do is to understand a little bit about how cancer begins in order for us to learn how to prevent cancer in our dogs and cats. Because cancer is now the number one death, cause of death in dogs over two years of age in the United States. And the incidence of cancer in cats is also staggering. So let's start at the very beginning. The potential for cancer begins when carcinogens damage and alter the DNA in cells. This modification remains latent until certain conditions occur that will promote the creation of a cancer cell. It's sort of like a seed in your yard that sits dormant until conditions are right as far as temperature and moisture. In cancer cells, it's pH and cell membrane changes. Now, everybody has a tumor suppressor gene called P53 that plays a vital role in your pet's struggle to stave off cancer. This gene monitors the biochemical signals in cells that indicate there's a DNA mutation in process. And the P53 gene creates proteins that either instruct the cell to halt the growth and stop the cancer cycle, or if the cell doesn't listen to this advice, the P53 gene makes it self-destruct. We all get cancer starting in us more than you'd like to think, so we should thank our P53 genes for nipping it in the bud. And if the P53 gene fails at its job, the immune system then has the opportunity to eliminate the cancer growth. So there's lots of ways that cancer gets stopped in our dogs and cats, but they're still getting it. So what can we do to help prevent them from getting so much cancer? Well, research has proven that proper nutritional support with phytonutrients helps to prevent a cell from developing into a malignant cancerous growth. Well, what are phytonutrients? They're organic compounds found in plants that both prevent and fight disease. Phytonutrients have been used as medicines for millennia. In fact, when Hippocrates stated, let food be thy medicine, he never imagined his words would be later proven in scientific laboratories 2,000 years later. The first phytonutrients, which are also called phytochemicals, were discovered at John Hopkins School of Medicine. The plant they discovered them in was kale. So how would eating superfoods with phytonutrients change the course of this dreaded disease? Certain phytochemicals, such as kale, will help cells dump carcinogens and toxins much more quickly. So they decrease the potential for that permanent DNA damage from carcinogens and toxins because they don't linger within the cell. Other phytochemicals support more general cell functions, while some give the immune system a super boost. But what I'm basically saying here is that there are some pretty amazing health benefits to eating these so-called superfoods. So let's find out a bit about them. Go to part two of cancer treatment and prevention in dogs and cats to learn how to add these super healthy superfoods to your pet's diet. I'm looking forward to seeing you in part two.